All right, so good um, afternoon to my YouTube friends and basket makers. I just had wanted to come out today and say happy Saturday to you all. Also, today is my self-care Saturday. Um, I just got finished making me up a nice smoothie here with pineapples and fruit inside of here, strawberries, pineapples, mango inside of here. So I made like me a tropical smoothie um, today. And um, I used this this morning the brightening um, cucumber peel off mask. These are very good to use. I did this on my face. I normally do these for 20 minutes on my skin. And then I did me up a lip scrub. You take the um, scrub here and you just place it on your lips. It's just like a, um, a facial mask, but this one is a lip scrub mask. Um, yeah, Melanie wants to say hi. Melanie wants to say hi. <laughs> she says hi. And um, yeah, and also I have my um, journaling this one here I got this off of Amazon last year it's a cute little journal book so I write in those I'm gonna be writing in this today so these is my journal so today is my self-care Saturday where I um, take the time out for myself I eat healthy got me some um, pistachios roasted pistachios I eat those the ones with the shells off of them so um, as us being uh, basket makers and being believers being moms um, sometimes you have to take the time out for yourself because a lot of times we take time out for everybody else and sometimes we forget to do something for ourselves so normally what I do um, on Saturdays is I take the time out for myself like me and Melody will have mother mommy and daughter time and then I'll have me time to myself where I'll do something for myself like today I made me up a nice um, smoothie. I just got finished um, making it up. This one is a um, tropical smoothie that I made for myself. And like I said, I did a 20-minute uh, brightener cucumber pill-off mask. These are very good to use. So if you're in your local Dollar Tree, you can get these big uh, tools off of Amazon. I think they were like $6.99. The bigger two becomes in a, in a green one, but it's the same name, Freeman. So this one is Freeman here, and I um, got this from the Dollar Tree. Um, no, I got this one from Five Below. They had them for a dollar at Five Below. Wish they had them in Dollar Tree before, but I didn't see them in there. So I went to Five Below. And um, yeah, see how pretty and brightening and make your skin looks and cleanse your skin. And I think as us being, um, you know, basket makers, being caregivers in general, we need to take time out for ourselves. Normally what I do, like I said, is I um, take me like a hot shower or a hot bath do up like a nice bubble bath for myself and just relax or um, just relax by doing um, a 15 or 20 minute walk or I'll do a 15 or 20 minute um, you know like journaling or also on TV I normally will go on there and uh, pick out an exercise and I'll do like a 20 minute exercise just something to keep yourself going because as we get older or even not just older in general as us being people we need to take care of ourselves because if we don't take care of ourselves no one else is so a lot of times I'll do a solo date where I'll take myself out of um, out to eat or something like that or like I said me and Melody will do things in here together girl your mommy and daughter time or we'll do our feet or we'll um, you know do up something nice I'll do her nails up and do her little feet we'll have like a little spa day where we take the time out and today I did my spa time this morning and then now I'm getting ready to have my strawberry uh, tropical smoothie here I just made this one and I also added um, I put yogurt in it I put a little bit of spring water I put uh, strawberries I put mangoes and I put some pineapples in it and um, I'm gonna have this here you know for today and yeah and just my journaling I got my journal here I'm gonna start my journaling up but yeah as us being believers and even as us being caretakers and you know just being people like women in general we have to take time for ourselves doing great things um, I love to read I love to write um, yeah I just love to just take time out like I said I love doing my baskets and things like that on Saturdays is my more relaxation day where I take the time out and do something for myself. So even if it's just taking yourself out for ice cream, even if it's just taking 20 minutes out, ladies, take the time out to do something for yourself. Last week I went um, and got my hair pressed out and stuff like that because normally I wear my hair up a lot. 
but I went and got my hair pressed out and it's just taking the time out for yourself plus my birthday was Thursday my son took me out got me something nice for my birthday and stuff like that so it's just the thought of knowing that um, you're important knowing that you know you need to do things for yourself because like I said if you don't do nothing for yourself you're not going to be good for others um, yeah, I just wanted to come out today and say hi to you guys and just give you some motivational things that you can do or some little tips that you can do. I know I drink plenty of water. I like juice. Um, I don't drink. I don't smoke. So I don't do those things. But I do love to go out to eat. I like uh, sometimes to have my little strawberry um, smoothies here or I'll make up um, the green smoothies, my green goddess smoothies that I have that I make those up. But it's just taking the time out for yourself, doing something for you. Um, yeah, and I, that's what I do. I take the time out for myself. Self-care is not selfish. It's not saying that you don't care for others. But if you are not taking care of yourself, you're not going to be better or you're not going to be good for others. So number one is taking care of you. Because if you're put together and you're, you're healed and delivered, then you can be able to help others. And I just thank God that he has blessed me. Um, to see 45 years and I thank God that he has um you know blessed me to just be a blessing to other people not only do I do baskets not only my basket maker but I'm also an author of my two books um called the 30 day journey book and the other one is called um the uh what is the other one uh overcoming life and sorry overcoming life encouraging poems is the other one so, um, yeah, so just taking the time out. Hold for one second. But right, you guys, so I'm back on. Yeah, so I just have one to come out and say, ladies, take the time out for yourself. Do something for you. Um, even with me being a nice and generous person or a nice, caring person, we have to take time out for us because if we don't take time out for ourselves, we're not going to be good for other people. So that's why I thank God that God has blessed me to be an overcomer. God has blessed me... Um, you know, just to come out of certain situations in my lives and different things. And I just thank God that he has blessed me to be a blessing to other people. Um, to show women how to, you know, fix themselves up. To show women that, you know, that we are important. That we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us. And, um, you know, even in spite of going through abuse. Even in spite of going through things in my life. I just thank God that he brought me out of a, a terrible situation. You know, he brought me out of different situations that I was in and I just thank God that he you know blessed me to get out of that situation um those abusive abusive relationships and things like that and learning how to take care of myself learning how to love me learning how to take the time out for me learning how to do things it's not a selfish thing but sometime in life you got to be a little bit selfish because you got to take care of yourself because if you if you're not taking care of yourself you're not going to be good for others. So I just thank God that he has given me a platform to not only come on here to uh, make baskets and do things like that, but he also has given me a platform to minister to other women that have been through hurt, women that have been through abuse or rejection, women that have been through um, certain things in their lives. God has given me the platform not only to help women um, find their identity with creating baskets, but also pouring back into women because God has poured back into me. I want to be able to pour back into you all. And um, yeah, a lot of times you see me on here, I'm doing my baskets. But like I said, I was going to start coming out and doing um, inspirational, doing like a lot of um, inspirational talks and things like that, like motivation and stuff like that. Or we can come out and um, even the book that I have out called the 30 day journey book that's a um, healing book for us ladies it's just 30 days of inspiration I'm thinking about doing another 30 day um, journey book challenge where I'm going to come out and uh, read the book and we just uh, come out and you can ask questions and different things like that I did it before the 30 day uh, journey book challenge it was on my other page but um, I just thank God for coming out today and um just coming out and showing you guys um, about, you know, things that I do. Just letting you walk into my life. You know, come in and, and you know, talk with me here about things that I'm, I'm doing in here. I just thank God for that. And um, just giving me, like I said, a platform to 
let you all know that you're loved by God and that no matter what you're facing and going through, God is able to keep you. And I just thank God that he um, been keeping me. He's been keeping my mind. He's been keeping me in good spirit, good health. I thank God for that, that I'm in good health. I'm in good spirit. Um, yeah, and I just wanted to come out today and just um, talk to you all. This is so good. I talked to you all today about, you know, taking the time out for yourself. Because like I said, if you are not taking the time out for yourself, you're not going to be good for others. So I just thank him that he has, you know, blessed me to be a blessing to other people. I will be coming out and doing a tutorial, but I just wanted to come out this morning to show you guys what I'm doing now. Just taking the time out about the write in my journal here. This is my journal. Um, they got these on Amazon. I got it last year for like $4.99 or something. And I write in it and things like that. So that's good to do. Do journaling. Um, like I said, take a 15 minute walk. Do a 15 minute reading of a book. Even if you can go to the store and buy you some ice cream and just sit up and watch TV. I do that a lot too. Um, after I do my baskets and stuff, I'll sit here and pick out a nice movie to watch. Me and Melody in here and we have our PJs on, our pajamas on, <laughs> our little bonnets on, and we'll be sitting in here watching, you know, TV, having a nice time, because we need to do those things, you know, because it, it, it helps our day, and, um, yeah, just thank God for that. Um, like I said, I used to teach classes also, um, with my grandmother, she had her church, it was called the Living White Throne uh, Church, and um, she had her, uh, her building, she's a pastor, she had her building and everything, and um, I used to do women groups over there, women uh, groups for um, us ladies, and we used to have like spa night and just different things that us ladies would come together and do something nice, even if it's just doing a facial mask. Another thing that you can do too, um, and I may come out and do it, is the egg yolks. You take the yolk, crack it, and you can place it on your skin. It's supposed to make your skin brightening too. But I've been using um, this Brightener Cucumber Mask. These are good. And then egg yolk is good for your skin too. The yolk of the egg. Not the other part, but like the slime part of it. You just put it in a bowl and kind of stir it up. And then you place it on your face and leave it on there hard. And it gets off dark skin marks and different things like that. Um, yeah, just doing different things. We used to have like a spa night. We used to have um, different scriptures that we come out of and read together and just encouraging one another as women. So I'm going to be coming out sometimes. You may see me come out and do baskets or sometimes you may see me come out just like today just to give you guys some encouragement. So ladies, if you're out today, do something for yourself. Even if it's just taking yourself out for a 15-minute walk or um, doing a 15-minute reading of a book or just taking yourself out, get you some ice cream or something like that. And just come home and just sit, you know, sit down and relax and, and do those things. I do a lot of that too. So I just wanted to, to be a blessing this morning and say hi to you guys before I start my day. And I'll come back out um, and do my tutorial. I'm also going to be raffling off the basket next week. Like I said, Melody is going to be the one that's going to pick one of your names for the basket. So thank you all too for my 500, well 503 subscribers now. Melody is going to be coming on and picking out your name, one of your names. So we'll, she'll be, we'll be doing that next week together. But I just wanted to come out today and just give you some words of encouragement. Know that God loves you and that even in spite of what you're going through, God is with you. Hold for one second. I'd like to read something today from out of my uh, book here that I wrote. It says diamonds. It says you are a diamond in the rough. Though you've been scorned, abused, mistreated, and overlooked, God saw you and took your brokenness and made something beautiful. Queens, let God heal you completely. Amen. So that's um something that I wanted to read to you out of my book here called The 30 Day Journey Book. This book been out since 2015. Um, but it was published in um 2015 and then I had got it last year uh, this one here so this um yeah this is my book here it's called the 30 day journey book yep and it's a very great uh, book here um yeah and it's a just a nice inspirational book 30 days of affirmations and I just had one to read that to you and things like that okay 
And then um, I wanted to read another one more thing to you, some affirmations that you can speak over yourself. I am beautiful. I'm successful. I'm encouraging. I'm blessed. I'm a queen in God's eyes. I'm whole. I'm delivered. I'm healed. I'm prospering and prosperous. I'm a diamond. I'm blessed and highly favored. I'm me. I'm wealthy. I'm healthy. I'm wonderful. These are affirmations that you can read over yourself. And these are affirmations that God gave to me to speak over myself and gave to me to speak, you know, for other people to speak into their lives. Okay? So if you're liking this type of content, don't hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today is Happy Saturday. And my name is Rochelle. Okay? And I'll be talking with you all. All right, you all enjoy your day. To the next video. Bye.